What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is another week of Xur, and Xur is located on IO. And he is over here by the giant scar. So let's go find out what he has this week. Xur, what's up dude? So like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. We have the weapon of the week, which is the Fighting Lion. It is an exotic grenade launcher. Then we have the Lucky Pants for the Hunter, the Starfire Protocol for the Warlock, as well as the Peregrine Grease for the Titan. Let's go ahead and start with the Fighting Lion. Trying to pick on this is the Lead uh, Gratification, which grenade projectiles will bounce off surfaces, hold R2 to fire, and release to detonate. Then we have counter mass, implosion rounds, uh, thin the herd, which direct hits do more damage to enemy combatant shields, rapid kills against grenade damage enemies, refill the magazine, kills always drop primary ammo. And then we have short action stock. Now this actually does have a catalyst and I think I already have it filled out. Uh, possibly, possibly don't, I don't remember. Um, but it also has ornaments. Um, this is one of them. Jade can, uh, I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one that I'm not even going to try to, uh, yeah, anyways. So, if you guys do not have the fighting line, go ahead and grab it. It is definitely a good exotic for PvP if you are good with grenade launchers. Um, if you're not good with grenade launchers, I probably would stay away from this. So, with that said, uh, it's better in PvE than it is PvP. Uh, it's better than PvP. Sorry, PvP, PvP, PvP. Then it is in PVE. So, with that said, I am going ahead, going to go ahead and give this a tier two in PVP, but probably a tier two point five to even a tier three in PVE. Really isn't that good unless it's uh, against trash mobs, um, and maybe depending on whatever boss fight you're doing. But if you guys don't know the tier scale, I will put it down in the description box below. Next, we have the Lucky Pants. Trenchant perk on this is illegally, illegally modded holster, which precision hits load one round to the chamber of stowed hand cannons. Hand cannons ready faster and are more accurate immediately after swapping to them. Now, real quick, if you do not use hand cannons, don't even bother with this. However, I am actually gonna go ahead and say probably don't bother with this anyways, because the uh, total points for it is extremely low. And if you if you are one of those people who actually are good with hand cannons, then I guess you can use this. If not, then don't worry about it. It's really not gonna change anything uh, in your gameplay. Um, but the highest stat on this is a plus 12 discipline. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So I probably would skip out on this. Um, but if you are one of those hand cannon guys, I probably would give this a tier 2 to 2.5 um, in PvE as well as PvP. If you're not, then don't even worry about it. Next, we have the Starfire Protocol. Uh, whoops. Intrinsic perk on this is Fusion Harness, which Fusion Grenades have an additional charge and recharge from Empowered Weapon Damage. Fusion Grenade kills Grant Rift Energy. Same concept with this one. The total is not really that high. The highest is a plus 12. Granted, yes, this has two plus 12s, but still. Ugh. I mean, this is a good exotic. However, fusion grenades, as I've been saying since Destiny 2 has been a thing, are not as good as they were in Destiny 1. Destiny 1 fusion grenades were amazing. Like, amazing. Destiny 2, not so much. Not a lot of people even worry about fusion grenades anymore. Um, I mean, this is good for PvE, so in that regard, I will give it a tier two. But in PvP, unless the enemy's already damaged, then a fusion grenade is not gonna one hit one uh, one shot kill them. Sorry. Um, so I'm probably gonna give this a tier 2.5 to even a tier three, probably even just a tier three in PvP. PvE is good against trash mobs. Next, we have the Peregrine Greaves. 
Uh, Treasure perk on this is Peregrine Strike, which all shoulder charge abilities, Seismic Strike, Hammer Strike, or Shield Bash, deal bonus damage when activated in the air. Now, this is a little bit better because you do have two plus 13s and a plus 12. Um, but plus 13 and higher is what you want to look for in um, exotic gear or gear in general. Um, and a higher total than 60 is definitely a good, um, how do you say, definitely a good number to look for as well. However, all shoulder charge abilities deal bonus damage when activated in the air. A lot of the times people are activating this in the air. This is an okay exotic, not top tier, because shoulder charge, no matter what it is, will still kill enemies, you know, one-shotting them. So doing extra bonus damage in the air doesn't really, you know, mean much. So, I mean, if you guys want it, go ahead. It's probably going to be a tier 2.5 in PvE as well as PvP, but I'm not all for it. I'm really not. Next, we have your uh, Five of Swords um, Consumable, which is your Nightfall Challenge card, as well as your Invitation to the Nine. And then last but not least, we have your Exotic Engram. And this week, for our Exotic Engram, we go ahead and get the Shinobu's Vow. Um, if you guys do not have one of these, go ahead and grab this first before grabbing the Exotic Engram, because you do have a chance to get one of these, if you do not already have it, as your Exotic Engram. So, I actually already have a Shinobu's Vow here with a plus 16 discipline, but the new one, and unfortunately it only has a total of 48, but the new one, oh my god, is so much better with a total of 59, plus 16 mobility, plus 14 resilience, and I guess the rest is just okay um, for it. However, this one that I do have does have that plus 16. Um, in Discipline, and obviously Shinobu's Vow is a um, grenade-focused exotic, I probably would still use this one over this one um, just because of that higher uh, Discipline than the new one that I just got. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, go ahead and join the Red Room Discord. It's a growing Destiny community for LFG on all platforms, content creators, and you can reach me there as well. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys next time.